Hi, this is Thomas with buildingabiz.com and I'm just showing you how to update a theme in WordPress um, if it doesn't have like an auto like automatic uh, update option um, which most of the ones that you buy from somewhere won't have that uh, that feature uh, so once like say if you have a new version that came out like this is 1.4.1 .1 on this theme here I'm going to show you the pretty easy way to do it and you can go to your C panel and you can go and you scroll down until you find where it says file manager right here and you don't want to use a legacy file manager you want to use one just for just file manager and you open that up and normally I just leave it like right there too on web root and set the domain name that you want it to to be on if you have more than one on your host here <clears throat> And you're going, to, you're going to want to go to wp-content, and double click on the folder, and then you double click on themes, actually on the folder here, and then you'll see where that file is, the old one, and to update it, you just click on upload, and then Tell me you want to overwrite the existing files, and I just told me I check all these too, so it gives it full permissions to do this. Um, and one thing you want to do is if you did any customizations to the theme um, that weren't like you know features that you know it has the ability to change on the back end. Um, I guess you know if you do like custom CSS, uh, you know, if you adjust any of those type of files, you're going to want to do it. Make sure. Well, you want to make sure you do a backup of the of, the, of your website anyways before you do any updates. Uh, that way, in case something goes wrong, you you have the the backup file. You can reload it right away. Okay. So then you select the and you double check to where it's going, which is you always want to make sure this is correct, which it is. You want to go to wp content forward slash themes, and then you hit browse. And they find the the uh, the theme file here and the zip file. You double click that, and then you'll see it start uploading down here. This only just takes um, anywhere from a few seconds to a couple minutes, depending on how large the file is, and also how fast your internet connection is as well. Alright, so it's finishing up here. Alright, then you see where it says complete. That's when you can just click on go back to here. No, maybe just let me just close the window. And then you'll see the the zip file you just up you just loaded in there. So now you just want to click on it one time here on the word the file name dot zip. And so it highlights it like this. So it'll be blue. And then you want to hit extract, which is right here. And you can also double check it too to make sure it's going the right correct location, which it is, which is forward slash themes. And then you hit extract files. This only only takes about yeah, about one or two seconds of the max. This will show you everything it did here, which you know you don't really need to go through it, but you can just hit click close. And then you can double check your theme to see if it updated. So there's a website here. Wait, remember it's 1.4.1. So now you can refresh a page, and it sees you can see theme updated successfully, and it's now it's 1.4.2. Okay, now I'm not quite sure why it shows it two, two times here, but uh, normally it just shows it once. And sometimes it doesn't show it at all, but you'll you'll see because now you'll see the version that's on there. So you'll see the now it's updated to the point two version here. And now you can also go to your website here, 
and refresh the page. And of course, you want to also go through, you know, all your pages to make sure everything's working, you know, still correct and it looks, you know, looks like everything's working properly. I can go to your product pages and, you know, really all your pages through your website. And it looks like the home page is the same as before. And then you can go to a category page and then your product page if, it, if you have an e-commerce site. If not, obviously, then basically if it's just a blog or something, you just go to your blog pages. But yeah, everything looks like it went through correctly. And then the last step you want to do is you want to make sure this is still highlighted here. If it's not, you can just you know click on it again and it'll highlight it like that one time. And then you hit this is on the zip file now. Now you want to delete it. And you say delete files. And that way it takes all that extra um, all the extra information off your off your uh, server so you don't have to have the you know it doesn't slow your website down because now all the updates are updated in here and you can see it's April 12th was the last time it was updated so you can also reload right here and I'll show you that you know it was actually today was when it was last updated and then if you want to also you can double click it actually double click the file and then you can also see which which things of which actual parts of the uh, theme were updated so you can actually see he had these parts were here, and these obviously weren't didn't need to be updated. Obviously, they didn't have any issues with them. And the ones I say like yesterday is because it also depends on when the theme was updated too. So um, you know, I'll show you the ones that were were updated on the dates. And once you're done with this, you can actually actually you can close this out now. And close out your control panel, and you're all done. Thank you for watching. This is Thomas with buildingabiz.com. <clears throat>